the clock is running. So if this is successful, there will be no time for New Zealand to restart. She will take the full minute. Caroline Juwan, step up. On so many occasions, New Zealand and France have faced off on the rugby field. Tonight at Rugby World Cup 2021 at Eden Park, maybe one of the most special of them all. Another chapter in one of the fiercest rugby rivalries is about to be written on a grand stage. It is New Zealand taking on France at Eden Park at a Rugby World Cup semi-final. And off the boot of Caroline Joanne, we are underway in the fiercest noise as Sarah Hiddeny brings down the ball straight away. It is pulsating around this ground. And now we're into the action. Oh, as it's left sitting there, and France come through illegally so first. Penalty goes New Zealand's way, and away goes Coxedge. Just looks to turn France around straight away, but she's banged this down to Boulard, who's read that really nicely. And she will send it back to Renee Holmes, back in the 15 jersey today, and throws a wild ball that's tidied up by Stacey Flula. Now New Zealand will just look to get into their work through Pip Love, who's brought down by the hard defender in Marisu Fahl in Jersey 5. Demant leading the competition and offloads the New Zealand captain. Here's Love again, or oh, tipping it on for Chelsea Bremner, who can't hold on to it, so New Zealand make the first mistakes. So Shah with the throw down the back for her captain, El mate. And this is the first test of New Zealand's defence, this well-organised French pack. It's Sochat, who has it in the back. Still under control by France. New Zealand well-organised, but France getting a bit of momentum. Now Bourdon has to use it. And away she goes, the little half-back for Joanne. Joanne's got Menage, but Coxedge brings her down. Nice ball for France to recycle here if Bourdon can clear. And she goes out to the open for Celine Ferrer. The experience lot, the pick and go comes from Elmay, the captain. France already asking questions just three minutes into the semi final. Here's a first touch for Romain Menage into the side today after injury. Now they spread. Vernier is wrapped up by Russe, able to get the offload away though. New Zealand's defence scrambling. That's Tui who's stopping Menage. Great pump of the legs from Menage. Now, Joyeux. Just a couple of metres short of the line. France building phases, piling on early pressure. Fahl, Marisu Fahl is chopped down by the Kiwi defence again. Bourdon out the back for Joanne, changes the point of attack and then goes straight through the middle. Caroline Joanne before being stopped in her tracks. New Zealand's defence set again, but boy, what a test this is. Escudero. Bourdon again, great spot tackle made from Flula, but the offload was excellent for Fahl. Fitzpatrick has wrapped up Madison Fahl. 13th phase and Socha is stopped. Escudero will be the next runner off the line and Amy Rule brings her down. Who's next for France? It's Menage, the menacing number eight can't make away. Vernier is stopped just short, half a metre this time. Bourdon is there for the half back, no way through. 16 phases and the advantage now for France. What a start this is for Madison Fall over the line, but the ball's held up. And perhaps a measure of the New Zealand defence that Juan has opted to go for the posts. I think in a semi final in this situation, just a settler get these points. There is a bit of a breeze she'll be kicking into, Kirsty. Slight breeze that she's kicking into, yes. France will be pretty happy with the start. Very, very happy. Caroline Chouin. Four out of five she kicked last week in the quarterfinal. Seven out of ten for the entire tournament. And Juan strikes first for France in the semi-final. It's France three, New Zealand nil. It's Roos at the front this time, and now New Zealand will try and play France at their own game. It's tight, and it's following the back for Ponsonby. Under 
control at the moment for New Zealand. Now, Cox said you will have a bobble as a French hand came in, and that just meant Fitzpatrick had to check her run, but still got through the first tackle. Theresa Fitzpatrick. Now the tight forward set rule. Coming off perhaps her best ever game in the black jersey last week, Amy Rule. Now they go again, just into short New Zealand. Coxage, Michaeli Tsuru, Leander Michaeli Tsuru has crashed over. Oh, and held up Cedric Marie Neville. And they will maul it once again, the line out drive, and they. That's once nine, backwards. In the middle of it. Trying to drag her team forward. It's in the back with I got Sosha. Same hard. And still the same wall. Sosha Down now to ground and will have to lay it back for her half back. Verdon directs her runners. It's Menage, uh, Roman Menage, that is. ZI and the LDI just a half a metre short. Here comes the blue wave once more. Verdon. For Menage once more driving down and Roman Menage scores for France. The opening try in the semi-final goes to the French number eight. And now Caroline Jouan will add two more to increase the lead. France 10, New Zealand nil after 23 minutes. Down the back they go for Alana Brenner, but it's pinched by M8. Just got in front of the French captain. Now Bourdon puts up the contestable box kick for Woodman to come forward. Takes it brilliantly in the air. Does Portia Woodman. So New Zealand get the ball back. They're starting to get some possession and territory. Haven't been able to do much with it. Here goes Flulino. Little offload for Tui. Ducks under one. Can't get away from her opposite. Menage. Picks goes again and then is dumped into the turf. Tilly advantage being played for New Zealand and they going to stop play here. Time just off, even the, yeah, Tilly writhing on the ground. So it's a penalty. Okay. It's a dominant tackle, but the player needs to bring that player down safely. Okay. But so don't it's a back, so it's okay. It's penalty me. only. Okay. Okay. It's not clearly above the horizontal, but she needs to bring her down safely. So it'll be a penalty here to you. Okay. And once again, she jumps up with a smile this week. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep Ruby Tui down. So France stole New Zealand's last line out. And they're going to go to the front and Roos. That's been a nice, safe option for New Zealand. France well organised, though, and they stop that ball straight away. Ponsonby will funnel it back for Cox Edge. Look at MA making an absolute nuisance of herself, the France skipper. Alana Bremner. Coxedge looking for her runners. It's her captain, Demant Fitzpatrick. Been a little room for her to create as yet. And now once more, not protecting that ball on the ground, but illegally so. Just strokes an easy one through in New Zealand. Get on the board with a penalty. Fine! In his 67th test. Ninja Coxedge will feed the scrum five metres out. In fact, they'll get the free kick and away they go. And off they go to the left. And that big wide ball for Flula. Flula in the corner. The smiling assassin strikes. Well, we've been waiting for it this whole half. Huge kick for Renee Holmes. A wonderful striker of the ball. And had sessions with the great Daniel Carter. 25 metres out on the angle for... Renee Holmes. It's straight, it's true, it's perfect, it is over, and we are all square at Eden Park. So shot to throw for France, and it's again Celine Ferrier. Oh. And they quickly get into their work. Look at the French rumble forward. Was nine stopped. So shot just she has a little peek over to the line. Joué play. Jouet is what Bourdon has been told to do. Trying to open a hole for Menage. No way through for Marine. Oh, there's a big blind here for Bourdon. She saw it too. But the New Zealand defence spotted it. Step. Seven metres out. Oh, Tilly coming in with the counter. France hold firm. And Joanne will clear for Escudero. 
has been no, so back. impressive in this tournament, Three. Charlotte Escudero. And the LDI lines up for a carry. Nice quick ball for Bordon, but Ferrer just the juggle. New Zealand's defensive line fans out once more as more pressure comes on. Erme, the captains collide. Erme and Dement. Escudero again runs into Ponsonby. Good hit, but it's transferred away from the eye. Kaka release. And now the eye short for Sosha. Just short of the line. Stay, stay. For Don again. They're lining up the French runners. Here's Menage once more. This time they stop it. For Don for Vignier. They won't stop Gabriel Vignier. They're close to the line though. And France straight back. A quite pulsating 40 minutes of rugby at Eden Park. We'll see France go into the halftime break. With a narrow lead, they lead New Zealand 17 points to 10 at the Rugby World Cup semi-final. Renee Holmes to start the second half. It's a shallow restart and New Zealand flies and all it was in the hands momentarily of Flula before. It just bubbled out, so France will get the first play here through Charlotte Escudero. 21-year-old flanker who has really made a name for herself in this tournament. Bourdon shaped a kick here and puts up the box kick. It's going to fall for Flula. Through the bread basket it goes, but she's quick enough to tidy up her own error. Maya Roos, who was prominent for New Zealand in the first half. Holmes playing up in the line, just going to stab a little kick through, which falls nicely for Fitzpatrick. It came off the legs of one of the French defenders, and that allows New Zealand just to pick and go forward now and look for the runners. As Kennedy Simon, the New Zealand co-captain on the field, and once again, it's Escudero who's won it back at the breakdown area. Bourdon with the little roll over the top, and she's kicked it out on the full. Long binds, long binds. Watch height on her face. Thank you. Chrissy. French alignment in the back line, very, very flat. So that just tells me they're ready to Coach. run from this position here. Vernay, very good at the head up in this number 12 jersey. Set. Well, Dom Pierce from the base of the scrum, and it's the winger, Grise, who comes off her wing to take the first hit up. You can hear them say New Zealand's defence, watch that boxy, but eventually Bourdon gets the protection she wants. It's very painstaking. This time it stays in and it's land. It's going to land here for Woodman who attacks the ball in flight and just powers forward. This time New Zealand will clear away from that breakdown ball. Out the back for it to Mad Holmes into the line. The Kiwi fullback again goes hard into the ground for Tui and Flula in the chase. Tui bearing down on Boulard. Oh, there's a juggle, and Tui's in for New Zealand. She stayed in the fight, they're going to check, but looks as if Ruby Tui may have scored. Bear down on her. She won't be able to bring this one around though. Both teams have gone tit for tat at the line. Now that's good ball from Chelsea Bremner down the back, and they will now try to rumble it in tight. Connors got it as they go up over the 22. And they'll go once more. This is a good drive from New Zealand. Stop once and now Connors peeled away. Luca Connor. It comes back for Cox. He draws Roos with the juggle. Four metres short, three metres short, two metres short. New Zealand funnel it back. Fitzpatrick on the angle. Fitzpatrick crashes over. And Teresa Fitzpatrick's put New Zealand in front for the first time. Oh, hey, Demand takes over the kicking duties. And she puts it away. So New Zealand go ahead in the 
semi-final. Big scrum. Oh, huge scrum for New Zealand. Coxedge goes. They can sense the French are rattled. The hands are good. The ball is wonderful from Dement to Flula. Now Woodman comes together with Brulard. France having to scramble again. Demant for Roos goes into the tackle this time. Demant again for Rule. Dropped to the ground. Able to protect that ball. Oh, oh, oh. Murray on a short line and the offload for Demant. Rua Hay, Demant is seven metres short. Cox edge, big ball. Let's see Inga can't quite get there. Great covering tackle by France again. They're going penalty. back and play the penalty advantage. New Zealand stretching France. Rua Hay, Demant extends New Zealand's lead. They just give themselves a buffer now. 25 points to 17. Just grabbed by Charlotte Escudero. And look at that organisation from France. It's in the back for Kalfawi. Now she has to peel away. And Connor reads that well, but here come France. It's their turn to respond. Safi in the eye and her 90th test in the eye. One of the all-time greats gets her team going forward. Bordon. And now Menoche. Menoche is over. And Menoche has bullocked her way to another try. Joan closes the gap to one. What a 15 minutes we have ahead of us. Is Kennedy Simon, the abrasive co-captain. Murray loves ball in hand. Offload for Brenner, who always gets herself in the right spot. Brulard's over that for France, though. Stolen by the French once more. And they've got massive numbers wide. Flula races up and makes the spot tackle on Vernier. Less than three minutes to play. And one point. Grisey stopped. Kalfawi. Stay. Joan. Through for in the LDI. Vernet and now Philippon and wide for Boulard as New Zealand sweep across and French. France go up over halfway. Ball still there for the French. New Zealand must keep their discipline too. Escadero stopped. On the 50 metre line. Joan. Space here for France if they can work it for Minoche. And now Grise Flula makes the tackle on her. France now in the heart of New Zealand's territory. Bourdon for Socha. Oh, what a shot from Talmata. Still there for France, though. Great heads up. I think they might have to stop it here. Is she all right? The player on the ground, yes, will carry on. And the LTI. The offload for Philippon. New Zealand can't get there. Hidden he does. Drouin stopped just. And the ball back in New Zealand hands. Stay. 90 seconds to play. And still just one point. Nam Wu makes a big carry. Everyone is out on their feet. So Crystal Murray, the prop, puts it into touch on the side. Four. Now it's in the 22, it's OK. It's in the 22, but geez, I'll tell you what, if the French player goes to the outside as a try. Oh, Dallin, oh, we're coming back, are we? What's she outside? 18. Time off. TMO. OK, so... Will you get the mark? Sentel Solmata is the player who's Same made the, the tackle. One. Still had contact. She was on okay. the receiving okay. end of the other, accepts her medicine. No, no. But this is going to be a penalty for France in a very kickable position with a minute to play and a point mark. in it. And more importantly for France, the clock is running. So if this is successful, there will be no time for New Zealand to restart. She will take the full 
minute, Caroline Juwan step up. how much it actually makes a difference to us eh, out there on the field to know that our families, our, our country um, are supporting us and are proud of us. Um, people are coming to support women and women's rugby like never before. Time and time again. That's us again next week. Listen to this. Soak it all up. Can you dare to dream? Eden Park, a full house for the Rugby World Cup final. New Zealand, England next week. Yeah, I think I'll just live in this moment first, Kirsty. You deserve it. Go and soak it all up with your friends, with your fans and with your teammates. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody.